Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to hit a major weather warning, pre-earthquake electromagnetic signals, a strange but not wholly unexpected water phenomenon, and lastly, the exact type of rock modification by bacteria scientists have been looking for on Mars. We're watching the last 24 hours on our star where we find the sun was very quiet. We continue taking low-level flaring events, no significant coronal mass ejections. We do have some space weather here on Earth, but up there, things are quiet. The sunspots are pretty numerous, but they are pretty well distributed. Spread, not magnetically interacting, which is where the bigger flares would come from. Meanwhile, here at Earth, the solar wind has broken through Earth's magnetic field despite there being no significant shock signals, just a magnetized stream of plasma. It's been driving geomagnetic storm conditions for the last 18 hours, luckily just at a low level, and those should be waning shortly. Folks, if you heard about severe weather coming to the tornado states, yep, that's real. This is ugly, very ugly, deep, low pressure in the country's core, driving tornadoes, extreme thunderstorms, possibly even derechos. This is a major event as the ITCZ begins shifting the north towards warmth, happens annually between March and May. Eyes open the next couple of days as the worst of it kicks in tomorrow. Up first in the articles, Chinese team finding that induced magnetic fields, atmospheric electric fields, and total electron content of the atmosphere all began changing in the hours to days before a big quake, hitting anomalous marks and giving away the shaking beforehand. Fascinating one up next, the motion of water across the surface produces 10 times the electric charge and microcurrent that was expected. This has about a billion applications in technology and industry and has a handful of potentially more impactful applications in physics, from climate to space weather to floods to Earth's internal dynamics. It's the spark. Last but not least, folks, scientists are dancing inside as they express the most toned down excitement and caution imaginable. This is textbook, what you'd look for when it comes to life, perhaps not as convincing as a little green man waving at you, but folks, this is what bacteria does to rocks. And while the scientists caution there could be a natural explanation for these, they couldn't even begin to guess what that might be. Folks, calm caution is advised, but this is a top candidate on Mars, one of the best ever discovered. Pole shift conference coming on Saturday. Big events throughout the season. Observer family gatherings at Observer Ranch. Check out the event schedule, the books, the Observer bot, and book your trip to come see us in person. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.